In this video, I'm going to show you how to save all of your control remaps and your settings on a per game basis for the new Big Pemu emulator. Now, we all know about the terrible Atari Jaguar controller and its numerical pad, and for me, it looks like something Kenneth Kniff might use to make a collect call. But through the power of emulation, we can now remap these controls to whatever we need them to be, making them way more intuitive. But we're probably going to want to do that on a per game basis because the controls that we set for one game are going to be useless for another game. To give an example of this, I like to remap AVP to modern FPS controls, but left and right need assigning to the right stick, rendering this control remap useless for every single other game. So I want to ensure that that remap is only been used when the game is loaded. And that's what we're going to do now. The first thing I recommend we do is set default values for our main configuration. And this is because we're using that to work from for our per game configurations. So start Big Pemu up with no game loaded, go into system, settings, and then just go down to reset to defaults. And make sure that you do that for the video, the audio, and the input settings as well. Now you can set your preferred defaults here, but make sure these have not been set up for one game specifically. And then just go to exit to save it. Now we need to copy our main configuration file and put it in the same folder as where our games are located. Now the main configuration file should be in your C drive under users, your username, and then go into app data, roaming, and then you should have a big PEMU folder in there and then you've got your main configuration file there. So just copy this, so copy that, and paste it in your games folder. There we go. Now we need to rename this configuration file to the ROM that we want to configure for. So I'm just gonna use Alien vs Predator here and because I'm a lazy git, I'm just gonna copy that out of there and then paste that in there. And now when we start Alien vs Predator, it will be using this configuration file. Now let's move back over to Big Pemu and start AVP. Now you must wait until the game is actually loaded and running before you make any changes. And this is because any changes made to Big Pemu with no game loaded will be saved to the main configuration. So once the game's loaded, just press escape. And now we can go into all of our settings and change them to whatever we need them to be. And it will only apply for AVP. So let's go to input device, set bindings, and I can set these to whatever I'd want. And all of these settings will be automatically saved when I exit the game or close the emulator. There we go. That was a quick guide on how to save all of your controller remaps and settings on a per game basis. Now I do have a tutorial on how to set AVP to modern FPS controls. So check that out if you're interested. And if you'd like today's content, slam me a thumbs up. And if you want to keep up to date with these quick guides, you know what to do. And apart from that, go play some games. Adios.